In February, the U.S. Labor Department announced new rules for 401k plans, which have now gone into effect. Here to explain the changes is Jill Schlesinger, editor-at-large of CBSMoneyWatch.com. All right, so what changes will we see here? It's very exciting. It really is. is. It? <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, actually. <laughs> Beginning this month, 401k administrators, those are the mutual funds and insurance companies that hold your money, they have to disclose all of the fees they are charging to run retirement plans. Now, the new rules also require that the administrators report performance for the plan's investment options. So they have to do it versus whatever index they're against. Participants that will get this information by August 31st, beginning November 14th, quarterly account statements, you're going to see something different. You'll see all of the fees that are deducted from your account. So you'll see how much money they're snatching away from your retirement. Well, what else can we be doing? There's not much wiggle room in some of these plans. Yeah, you know, like these are good to have the rules. It's great to have the information. But remember, there are specific steps that you can take to better manage your retirement assets. Of course, we always talk about understanding your risk tolerance and your time horizon, when you need your money. But if your plan has index funds available, use them. You can reduce the cost of investing and provide overall diversification. Also, if your plan is using mutual funds that carry commissions, those are the ones that usually have an A, a B, or a C after them, those fees are coming out of your pocket. Try to get your employer to switch to a lower cost plan. You know, this could save you one or two percent a year. It's pretty important. Do you know how much you'll need to retire, Rob? Do you know that number? Tell me the formula again. Today on MoneyWatch.com. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to help you recalculate oh, your retirement number. And we do it the long form and the short form. But you know what? Until you know what the number is. I'm thinking a gazillion, something along those a lines. A gazillion is pretty similar to mine. It's gazillion <laughs> okay. plus three. But until you know those numbers, boy, you can't do any of your planning. So get the number and figure it out. It's not that hard. Tell me again the formula for... 110 minus your age. <laughs> you knew what into, I was going to ask, I right? Why? The we're percent like, that should be in risky oh, investment. Right. 110, yeah. the number 110, minus your age, that's what goes into risky assets. But this is the long form. This is the one for people who want to work a little bit. So you can do this on the weekend. All right. <laughs> I like it simple, so we thank you for that.